Hey everybody, Catherine Hart here of Heart and Soul Studio. Today's tip is going to be on memorizing. I get these questions all the time from kids as well as adults. How do I memorize? All right, memorizing is actually very easy. The more you do it, it's like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the, the easier it gets. So just have faith, it'll get easier. Plus, I also find a lot that you guys actually know the lines, but you think you don't, and you're telling yourself you don't, so you keep thinking I have to look at the script. And I tell you to throw away the script, and that you know the lines just perfectly fine. And when I take the script away from you, now you start paying attention to me instead of flipping cue cards over in your head. And once you start playing off the other person, it makes sense what you say. And yes, indeed, you do know the lines. All right, so three quick tips on how to memorize faster and easier. Number one, remember that the writer wrote the whole scene, so you're not just trying to memorize those weird little black words on a white piece of paper and say them with cue cards flipping over in your head. Before you even memorize, make sense of the scene. Why am I saying what I'm saying? What just happened? And get up and act the scene out so that you really understand what is happening to you that is causing you to say the lines. Picture the other person and see them and, you know, really look at them and say, hey, why are you saying this to me? You know, and, and really pay attention to, you know, uh, what's going on around you. Remember, your, your acting is the evolution of your character, reactions, spontaneous things that are happening. So I need to make sure that I am putting those in the scene. And therefore, when I'm memorizing, I am memorizing with those things, the subtexting, the thoughts, the transitions. I'm memorizing with those things in there, the pauses, the little beats as I watch the guy walk across the room and disappear out the door. He's gone. Well, that makes real, real, you know, real good sense to me that he's, I say he's gone because I just watched him leave. But if you don't put that in, then I just have to remember, oh, when do I say he's gone? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so when you're memorizing, memorize with the scene intact and actually get up and act it out and make sure you understand what's happening to you, what's causing your transition. Put the transitions in, see the other person, feel what you feel, act the scene out so the scene makes sense and you will memorize a lot faster. Number two, make sure you... You have little increments when you memorize. You don't want to just try to memorize for hours and hours at a time. Pick a little like paragraph, a little bit that goes together. Memorize that and then go away for about five minutes or an hour and then come back, see if you remember it. And then when you do, get the transition that causes you to go to the next little section, memorize that section, and then go back and put that all together, including the transition because the transition helps you to remember why you say the next thing and that's the acting you need to have the transition in there all right and then walk away for five minutes or an hour and then come back so so memorize in little increments of time in little bits and pieces that make sense and then go away and leave and come back and then it really helps if you can sleep on it and then the next morning get up and do it again it's like solid cement in there that you remember this stuff okay so helps to put a little space of time in between number three Move around. Moving when you're trying to memorize makes it make sense. Also putting bits of business in. If I know I cross my arms when I say really, then as soon as I cross my arms, really is going to pop out of my mouth. This is how I work with little kids a lot. I give them little things to, to do with their body and it reminds them of what to say. All right, and then once you've gotten all of this memorized and it gets easier and easier, just trust me, uh, the first time you go off script, ask a friend to hold the script and read the other person's lines, not just the cues, but the entire lines because the lines and everything they're saying is what's making you feel something while they're talking and that's building and building, which makes you blurt out your line when they finally give you your cue. So it's not just the cue, it's what they're saying. You are acting the entire time and that is what's causing you to say your lines and it makes it easier. Now if you don't have a friend, just just tape uh, the other person's lines with a little space for you, you know, to say your lines and uh, just play that little tape recorder back. Okay, so memorizing lines. It's a piece of cake. Go up and do some. <laughs>